trusting someone is difficult but whom to trust it's hard to say the hand that rocks the cradle is a thriller drama that revolves around chessman's happy little family the film introduces our main protagonist delondra a medical student who has just moved into her new flat delondra is also a part-time babysitter and is looking forward to working with mrs linenberg and her twins but Mrs. Lindenberg is about to be transferred. Delondra is stressed because she needs a job as soon as possible. Luckily, her landlady, Mrs. Tubbs, offers her a job babysitting Danny Chessman, the son of Joel and Melody Chessman. The first meeting with Melody doesn't go well, but as the days go by, The couple feels more and more comfortable with Delondra's presence around Danny until a strange woman tries to kidnap him from the park. The woman claims that Danny is her child. Fortunately, Delondra manages to have her arrested and the family moves to a cabin in the woods. Here, Delondra discovers a strange secret about Danny and learns that the child doesn't belong to the Chessmans. Danny and Delondra's first meeting. Danny is a funny and outgoing little boy who loves to play with his coloring book and is obsessed with snakes. Delondra and Danny's first meeting goes unexpectedly well. They get along well and spend the day playing in the park until Melody shows up. She immediately freaks out and warns Delondra to stay away from Danny. Luckily, Mrs. Tubbs arrives on time and helps Delondra get over her sudden awkwardness. Delondra notices that Melody is very overprotective of Danny. But Delondra doesn't think much of it because that's how some mothers are. Gradually, Melody and Delondra become good friends. Besides, little Danny loves spending time with Delondra. She brightens his whole day. because they have similar interests a few months pass and Danny and Delondra are inseparable the Chessman family entrusts Delondra to Danny and is convinced that they have made the right choice Delondra becomes a part of his everyday life and next day Danny and Delondra go to the park again Danny can be outrageous sometimes and he decides to play hide and seek So the game begins and everything goes well until Danny disappears. Who is the strange lady? Delondra freaks out when Danny disappears. She runs through the park trying to find the boy. Suddenly, Delondra notices a strange woman in distance. And what's worse, Danny is with her. Delondra intervenes in their conversation and tries to bring him back. but the woman stops her Danny doesn't like this and walks away from the woman Delondra and Danny immediately leave the park and she forgets everything that evening Joel and Melody go off to run some errands leaving Delondra alone in the house once Danny falls asleep she waits for his parents to return suddenly she becomes aware of a strange noise Delondra realizes that she isn't alone in the house and decides to go see what's happening. She doesn't give much attention to it because Danny likes to scare people. But to her surprise, the strange woman is back. She ransacks the house and tries to reach Danny. Luckily, Danny's parents are back on time. She storms out of the room and informs them about the stranger, but she is nowhere to be found. Melody calls the police and the officer thinks the woman is a tramp but Melody is no longer comfortable in his place she explains that Danny was kidnapped once when he was a baby although Melody has never seen her she is sure that the woman is the same kidnapper the cabin in the woods Melody and Joel decide to take a little trip in the summer There is a beautiful cabin in the woods that belongs to Mrs. Tubbs. 
Melody also reveals that they have been changing locations every two years to make sure Danny is safe. They decide to stay there until things get back to normal. Melody wants Delondra to accompany her as the couple has no private time. With Delondra, things are easy to handle. Delondra agrees to go with them as she needs to boost her finances. However, Delondra's boyfriend, Rob, doesn't agree with this trip. Besides, the fact that they haven't told her the location is very strange. Delondra assures him that everything will be fine. The following night, the strange woman breaks into Delondra's house. Again, she asks her to listen. But Delondra is too scared to talk to her. Nevertheless, she locks her in a bedroom and calls the police. Officer Liker and other police officers take her to the station because she has no ID. The next day, Joel and Melody leave for their holiday. The officer Liker arrives on time. He tells them that the woman is known as Carla. She has troubled a lot of people by believing that their child is her son. Nevertheless, Melody doesn't feel comfortable staying behind and leaves immediately. A few hours pass as the family reaches their destination. Danny is happy to be in the house as the place is surrounded by beautiful forest. Soon, Delondra decides to pick some flowers to decorate the room and meets an unexpected stranger. Who is Caleb? How is he connected to the Chessman family? As Delondra is busy picking flowers, she is approached by a man named Caleb. Somehow, Caleb persuades her to listen to him. He reveals to her that Danny's real name is Aspen. Caleb shows her some photos of Carla and the newborn baby. And she also finds out that Carla and Caleb are siblings. Now, they are helpless because Carla has falsely accused many people in the past. Delondra is the only person who can help them prove that Melody and Joel are the real kidnappers. If she can get the sample of Danny's DNA, Caleb can file a lawsuit against the couple. If the Chessmans suspect that Caleb is stalking them, they could leave the country to protect their secret. Delondra decides to trust him when Caleb gives her another piece of evidence. When the police had given up on Carla, Caleb commissioned a sketch artist to draw what Danny might look like in her future. Surprisingly, the sketch matched his facial features and Delondra was speechless. Melody interrupts their conversation but she doesn't suspect them. It seems she doesn't know Caleb and Delondra convinces her that he was just asking for directions. When they get home, Delondra calls Rob and informs him about Caleb and Danny. But Melody overhears the whole conversation. What happens to Caleb? That same night, Delondra manages to get a sample of Danny's hair for Caleb. Delondra looks everywhere, but Caleb is nowhere to be found. At the same time, Delondra receives a call from Rob who tells her that Joel and Melody are actually known as George and Carol. According to Rob, George and Carol had a son named Danny, but he died in a household accident seven years ago. Nevertheless, Delondra decides to save the boy while Rob wants her to leave the cabin. But Delondra doesn't want to leave him alone. Delondra tries to find Caleb, but she fades. She returns home to find that Joel, who is George, has been waiting for her. He asks her about Caleb, but Delondra pretends she knows nothing. But she had no idea that the couple had murdered Caleb to protect their little secret. George is sure Delondra knows nothing about Danny, but Carol doesn't want to take any chances. The same night, Delondra decides to escape with Danny and takes him to her neighbors. 
Elondra informs them of everything, but it turns out that the neighbors are on Carol's side. They inform her about everything and Carol forces Delondra to leave. What happened to Delondra? Did she save Danny in the end? Carol packs her things and Delondra prepares to leave. But Danny stops her and asks her to stay behind. Carol and George take Danny to his room. And Delondra takes this opportunity to sneak into other room. She finds Caleb's ID and his clothes on top of a refrigerator. Delondra opens the refrigerator only to find that they have hidden his body inside. Suddenly, Carol attacks her, but Delondra is able to escape. George protects her and tells Carol to stop hurting her. He knows that her death won't change anything. Their son is dead. Besides, they can't control Danny's actions every time. When he was a little boy, it was easier to move around. Now that he has grown up, Danny already notices that something is wrong. George is also tired of running around and it's clear that they have killed many people in the past. George wants Carol to understand that Danny isn't her son. But she isn't ready to accept it and hits him with a statue. George dies from the impact. But Carol doesn't care. She sets out to find Delondra. Fortunately, Delondra manages to take Danny with her and escape from Cabin in Caleb's car. Eventually, Delondra meets Danny's parents and Carla apologizes for her behavior. Danny is uncomfortable around them, but Delondra tells him that Carla and Todd are his real parents. The police decide to keep him with Delondra as Danny needs more time to get used to his new parents. Officer Liker decides to wait outside until the team arrives as Carol is nowhere to be found. Also, Delondra and Danny return to Miss Todd's house to spend the night. But things take a different turn when Delondra realizes that Mrs. Tubbs is working with Carol. She tries to call Officer Liker but he is already dead. So Delondra hides in the basement and knocks Carol out with a spade. She manages to trap Mrs. Tubbs and Carol in the basement and escape. Luckily, Delondra and Danny are safe. A few months pass and Danny celebrates his birthday party with Todd and Carla. Moreover, he is happy to have his parents back.